I'm staying in Bali and have been inspired by the emphasis on wellness and self-care here. I've been enjoying a variety of different spas and treatments in beautiful natural settings that bring soothing peace and relaxation to my day. All of the treatments are thought out and no detail is left behind, from the soothing sound of water falling to the beautiful array of natural body scrubs and ointments, the arrangement of flowers. All of these little details create a beautiful spa ritual that elicits a sort of inner peace that lives within you but doesn't always get its moment. I find that it's important to establish daily rituals in your life. It can be anything from how you start your day from the moment you open your eyes to how you prepare to get a restful sleep at night. But this focuses on my skin pampering ritual and how I like to take a small time out of my day to love my skin to reveal my inner glow. In Bali, I'm in the ocean every day and I love how I can feel my body getting stronger. But because I spend so much time out in the elements, I need to reverse any damage from the sun and salt water. So that is the foundation of my skincare routine. Nothing feels more heavenly than taking a cool outdoor shower and rinsing off the sand and the salt from your skin after being in the ocean. I first make sure to cleanse my skin and my hair. I love using shampoo bars, especially when I travel, because they're easy to carry around and have zero waste. I also like to use a face cleansing bar to rinse away any salt or sand and get it ready for pampering. Once I've rinsed my body off, I use a body polish to buff my skin and make it feel clean and exfoliated. I love this Undaria body polish because it exfoliates and hydrates at the same time and gives your skin an almost tingly fresh sensation. Once I get out of the shower, I comb out my hair to get rid of any tangles. And then I use a headband to keep my hair out of my face. I really like to use a headband because it makes me feel like I am my own at-home spa and it really puts me in the mood for pampering. I've been implementing dry brushing into my skincare routine to detoxify and exfoliate my skin at the same time. Dry brushing is best to do before you take a shower, but since I just came back from the ocean, I decided to wait until after I was clean. Dry brushing sweeps away dead skin and helps with lymphatic drainage if you do long brush strokes toward the direction of your heart. Next, I apply some body oil and I like to take the time to gently give myself a little massage, starting from my feet and working up until I reach my entire body. Any good spa experience includes a body massage, so I'm just bringing that spa pampering element at home once again. The next step is to apply a face mask. I'm using the white algae mask from Osea, which helps with anti-aging and brightening the skin. The algae combined with the white tea helps diminish redness and plumps and hydrates my face. I leave the mask on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it off with warm water. I also make sure to gently pat dry my skin to avoid any stretching that could lead to premature wrinkles. The next step is to spray a little toner. I'm using the travel sized sea mineral spray that includes seaweed and aloe vera to deliver instant hydration. Next, I apply a serum. I'm using the Undaria Argan Oil, which helps to plump my skin and really hydrate it. Once my serum is applied, I use a gua sha tool, which is an ancient instrument massage technique used in traditional Chinese massage. It helps with lymphatic drainage and helps to sculpt your face. 
I gently start from my chin and then bring the tool down my neck and repeat this motion several times. I also like to use a jade roller, which has healing properties and is cool to the touch. It helps to really infuse the serum into my face, and that really locks in the moisture and makes my face less puffy. This is so great to do first thing in the morning, especially if you leave the roller in the fridge. I also apply some eye lift serum, which helps with diminishing fine lines that I could have gotten from the sun and also helps with puffiness. So I also roll this out with the smaller side of my jade roller. Next, I use the Blemish Balm Face Moisturizer, which targets blemishes and future breakouts. Its lightweight consistency also makes it a great primer base for makeup application. The last step is to apply the Essential Corrective Complex onto any blemishes, and it's made out of a variety of essential oils, including tea tree, which helps get rid of any spots that I want to correct. After this pampering skin ritual, my skin feels refreshed and hydrated, and I feel so relaxed, just as if I went to a spa in Bali. Thank you for watching, and I hope this inspires you to take the time out of your busy day to pamper yourself and your skin.